that's the energy vibration reading for um, the uh, Aquarian Sun Moon Horizon sign for the third quarters. I want to say thank you for being here. Thank you for being back. Thank you for the wonderful positive alignment from energy, you Aquarians. Okay. Alrighty, let's see. It is the energy vibration reading for October, November, and December 2019. Um, the general energy is um, fire, 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 and water. So be aware of this. Now, um, remember, there's always an extended reading. So check out the link below. Please like and share these videos. You can also use this link up here um, to order your on-demand um, quarter reading. This reading is from the month of October, November, and December for the Aquarians. Let's see what is coming up for you Aquarians. We have the energy of the High Princess. So a lot of you Aquarians who are very psychic, in the month of October, your psychic is going to be higher than normal, okay? So this is good and this is very positive because what is transpiring for you guys is that your guides and angels are going to be connecting with you and your psychic energy is going to be very, very high in the month of October. For the rest of you, listen to your intuition. Um, through dream time, your ascendance your foreparents the people from the past is going to be coming in and is going to be helping you so whatever is happening and whatever is transpiring you gotta open up to the unseen world because in a positive way because there can be negative influence that comes in your dream and that sort of a thing sometimes through astro travel a lot of you are going to be astro traveling but what I'm seeing coming up for you guys what is going to be transpiring is that there is the energy of the eye princess and these are your spirit guides your ascendance masters your angels and guides your four parents they are just so coming in the message is going to be clear they're bringing you messages in the month of november and the month of uh, the month of November, you have the energy of the chariot. Okay, so this is an energy of moving forward. Okay, if you notice, it's not. It's, it's as if a hey, you're hitting, you're moving, you're moving. Nothing is stopping you because you decide. I am moving forward. It doesn't really matter what's in my way. If you notice how the picture, it's like you put on your head cap and you're like, I'm moving forward. I'm not even looking back I'm not looking sideways I'm not looking I am moving forward and no one is gonna stop me and this is going to be a good positive energies because in November you're going to be realizing I got on the me I got on the me I got to move forward because no one else is at the side helping me to move okay I love this energy because this energy is when it says to you hey you got only yourself you got to make it work for you because there's no one else around and this is when you're going to decide hey you know something I'm going to be taking up my reins and I'm going to make it things work and I'm going to open up doors that wasn't open and you're going to be success. Bam. You're going to be success. There is no question. You're going to be success because of this energy. Now, there is definitely a victory and success. This is when we say victory and success because what is transpiring is that you have water. You have fire and you have fire it's like you have fire in your soul and it's as if you're saying no one nothing is going to stop me because i'm making this move because i want this to happen for me so i'm loving this energy for you aquarians because especially you psychic aquarians this um three months is going to be good okay for the psychic Aquarians, this three months is really going to be good. I am seeing you um, really um, putting in the work and it is going to be good. Okay. I'm really seeing you putting in the work and it's really going to be good. Now, there is some secrets, eight of cups. There are some secrets and whatever is transpiring is that your spirit guides in the month of... Um, 
in, in, in these quarters, in the month of uh, October, some of you, it can be October, some of you can be November, and some of you can be in December because you're working on different energy vibration at different timelines. Eight of Cups is here where I'm seeing you making this decision in October where the energy of the tower moment comes in because you found out something in the month of October where the tower moment comes in and you're leaving something behind whatever that is is different for each and every one of us because we are vibrating on different timelines and different issues and situations are transparent but it's as if your spirit guide, and this is what I just said your spirit guide is going to be coming in in a month of October and the release revealing a secret to you and you're going to say this is where i this is where i hand this this is where i end this no i'm not going any further this is where it's going to be ending and that is what is bringing in the tower moment for you and you're going to be saying i'm out of here in november going into december i'm seeing you collaborating and working with, with other people so whatever it is i'm seeing you receive a new job i'm seeing things are working i'm seeing this is happening for you whatever is transpiring if you were looking for a new job if you decided to start your own business whatever that is happening it is going to be picking up in november going to december december success is going to be here for you because i'm seeing people coming in to help you to build on something that you have been working on five of pentacles is here and um some of your outcomes when you decide to make this a change when you decide to move on your own the outcomes is the five of pentacles now what is here and what is happening is that some of you have made a decision to move forward but as you move forward you come in financial um a problem or it doesn't have to be financial problems they're saying because success is going to be coming in and working together with people but it's as if you feel alone because it is um it is in the time of um it is definitely in the time of um where um it's christmas everyone is uh, together with other people but you make a decision to end whatever the situation is whatever the relationship is that wasn't going you have made um a decision um to end it and um is this if because you have made the decision to end it um what is happening now is that you are sitting alone in your dreams and what is transpiring is that you need to understand how things are happening for you okay so um that's where we get this sort of energy from um sorry ladies and gentlemen if i put that fold out i wouldn't hear the end of it yeah and you hang the telephone up on me okay so what is happening um aquarians you're going to be dealing with the taurus and this is uh, the bombshell okay so whatever is happening with the taurus uh, um i'm seeing the i that the ice that the, the a secret about a taurus is going to be coming in so some of you aquarians are going to be finding out something about a taurus okay so the eye princess um is going to be letting you on some secret that is being kept by a taurus now Whoever the story is and whatever the situation, you're definitely going to be. They could be telling you or you could be finding out. For some of you, this energy with the Taurus is that um, this Taurus could be helping you to be very protective. A Pisces is coming in very mystic and you're going to be victoriously um, overcoming a situation with a Pisces. Okay, so whoever that is out there that was dealing with a Pisces whoever the Pisces is um, if it's um, or, or whatever the situation is um, the unseen world um, you know unexpected things you're going to be overcoming an issue with a Pisces whatever the situation is or whatever this issue that you have with this Pisces you're definitely going to be over because um, that's the ostrich clock that we're looking at success is coming in and the Capricorns could be helping you to bring the success. Okay, the Capricorns could be 
um, helping you to bring the success in because you could be working with a, a Capricorn and this Capricorn is going to help you to bring in some success what you're walking away from some of you are going to be walking away from your relationships okay um, definitely some of you are going to decide to walk away from your relationship that is the tower moment that is coming in where some of you are deciding to leave a relationship a friendship behind because it's no longer serving you and you're realizing how unhealthy this relationship or this situation is so you are definitely walking away it could be a Pisces that some of uh, um, a Pisces but um, for some of you it's definitely a relationship that you're walking away from the three of Pentacles some luck is going to be coming in um, some of you are really going to be having luck at work or luck with something that you're working on or networking luck with networking whatever the issue is whatever that is transpiring I'm seeing luck with networking and this is going to be good okay so um, this is also a wonderful energy the energy of the five of Pentacles Pluto a transition so if you have felt in hardship if you felt as if you're in hardship if you felt as if you were you are having a hard time whatever this energy is whatever that is coming up with this hardship we're going to be looking deeper at this because this is also with the astrological clock um, and whatever the hardship is Pluto is coming to bring a transformation so if you felt as if things were hard there were hard times hard things you were going through a, 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 um, you know wrong things and hardship in your life Pluto is coming in and Pluto is going to be helping you with this situation so you know whatever that is happening and whatever that is transpiring ladies and gentlemen just um, understand okay just understand that uh, whoever this um, husband wife girlfriend friend friend whoever this person is and whatever is transpiring okay because what I'm seeing is that some of you are going to be finding out a secret okay and it could be a secret over a Taurus but a Taurus could be bringing you this information so for um, the Aquarians let's see what's coming up in the third um, the third week so the third month the third um, the fourth quarter so in the month of October um, there is if you are in a relationship with a Taurus um, or you have a house or you're building a house um, whatever your intuition is telling you about the Taurus at your work at home in your house or the, you know it could be a partner whoever the Taurus is because we're going to be looking it has something to do with your foundation so it could be someone at work it could be someone who you're living with or you're sharing dwelling with but whoever the Taurus is whatever the secret is and whatever the universe is telling you you gotta listen to that in the month of October in the month of November I'm seeing the energy with um, your parents or the parents of your partner if you have a partner that is a Leo or is a Pisces there is going to be some issue with the parents this also could be that some of you are dealing with um, a Pisces in um, power okay or your manager whoever the Pisces is whether in power your manager whatever is happening you're gonna overcome the situation with this person okay you're definitely going to be overcoming the situation with this person energy of the Capricorns I'm seeing money coming in um, there is definitely money coming in um, whatever is happening I'm seeing the, the Capricorns helping you guys uh, um, to generate money in whatever way um, these Capricorns are really helping you guys to generate money I'm seeing a transition really so ladies and gentlemen um, this uh, you have to be aware of and this energy could be also um, a Pisces that um, some of you are having an issue with okay um yes it's a Pisces so some of you could be having some issue with a Pisces if you're in a relationship with a Pisces you're letting this person go 
and you're ending the relationship so if you're in a relationship with a Pisces I'm seeing changes you're letting this person go and you're going to be definitely ending a relationship now it could be a Pisces for some of you but it could be a Leo's for some of you but this is a relationship that can affect the lovers so it could be you're ending your marriage also that is coming up now some luck is going to be here in a resolution so whatever is happening I'm seeing people working together definitely some luck is going to be here and I'm seeing a resolution so if you had issue an uh, issue with a house issue with a car um, whatever the issue you have whatever the house or a car I'm seeing a resolution coming up here because you're going to be lucky something about uh, a car or a house there is a house and a situation with a house but a resolution is going to be coming up a lucky resolution is going to be coming up for you whatever is transpiring whatever is happening I'm seeing a wonderful positive resolution coming out of uh, a situation with you and you know it's as if you end a relationship you decide I'm ending this relationship I don't want to go any further I don't need to do this anymore this I have learned and uh, with that uh, it's it's going to be helping you so we're going back to look at some of you in this hardship whatever hardships you guys are going through whatever whether it's hardship that you 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 know you need materialistic um, help you need um, support you need whatever the hardship is that you're going through not to worry because you're going to be okay because I'm seeing an invitation that is here for you um, so a transition a transition is coming in a personal powerful transition is coming in an ending is coming to this hardship that you have been going through and definitely an ending is coming to this hardship that you have been going through um a, a, a recon is coming in and this is going to be very good okay so definitely some of you are definitely going to be um um changing uh, relocating definitely relocating some of you are definitely there is no question um, you are going to be definitely relocating so that there is absolutely no question about that relocation uh, relocation is in your chart and it's going to be happening for you um, Aquarians so be aware of this but I'm seeing unexpected luck where by connecting with others this um, you know spore of um, um, on uh, on unexpected luck is just coming in it's, it's as if whatever is transpiring I'm seeing this huge unexpected luck that is coming in and um, this is going to be balancing out certain aspect and certain situation now I'm seeing a transition I'm seeing that some of you are definitely going to bring an end to some issue a transition is definitely coming in and the transition is that some of you decide to end the situation with people in power or end the situation with someone this person could be a boss or ex-boss you're deciding this is working out for me this person could be a Pisces some of you are saying this is not working out for me I'm letting this go and I'm looking for better avenues in my life Ooh, the door to spirit okay the door to spirit comes up in the reverse form for you Aquarian so that means you guys are only focusing on your materialistic goals okay when a door to spirit is is in the reverse that is number 32 so the transition is five the transition is five so number 55 is playing a great role in your life number 55 and transition so three times five so there's going to be huge transition that is going to be coming in the lives of you Aquarians and whenever um, the door to spirit is that you're not connecting with spirit okay it seems your intuition is a uh, failing you and you can't maintain the peaceful moments you are longing for you may too be restricted by worldly matters exactly um, personal problems to arrive at and enjoy the depth sense of your spiritual connection 
the paradox is uh, the more you can let go of the drama and distraction of intensive emotion the more spirit place will you have to resolve things situation and conflicts so relax and let go meditate on your soul okay your I self and um, resist your own heart center by healing calling up on the angels um, to heal your heart center and that is going to help you so your motto for this quarter is going to be I relax and connect with my spirits wisdom and power I live in the place that my spirit brings and know that the world of spirit supports me so again I live in the peace that my spirit brings and know that the world of spirit supports me this is a beautiful energy if even that the door of spirit is open again ladies and gentlemen feeling alone is here which this is the connection of the five of Pentacles release yourself of this because there's definitely an energy that is going to be coming in to release yourself because you guys have three times five huge changes that's going to be coming up in your life and whatever this feelings of loneliness that you're going through you're going to be ending this because it's as if this Pluto energy is bringing in a transition and you know ladies and gentlemen when Pluto comes in it is taking down that which no longer serve you okay Pluto is like whatever you know Pluto is like we got to end the shit because it's not working so this is a scorpion energy where you could be using the scorpion energy to take down something that no longer serves you um you guys have three times five 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 <laughs> okay and um please remember to pick up your extended reading use the link um please set your notification on thumbs up and i love you guys uh, have a good good quarters of course you'll see me in the month of october namaste mm -hmm.